Come here, you are. Here, you shift. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> the fucker's super light, man. It's only fucking like 300 fucking pounds. Here's the unveiling of the motor. She's not much to look at right now, but it's what's inside that counts. It's low miles. It had some oil leaks because it was in a fucking motorhome. What do you expect? It was like inside the damn thing. You know, they're not easy to get to in there. I had to literally tear the house down around it. That shit's fun being on it. Anyway. You see, I got strapped down to the cart here. We rolled it out of the woodshed where it's been stored for the last 10 years, we'll say. Damn near, give or take a year. But yeah, it's been in that one spot for a long time. I had a hard time come along in and out of there. You had to use your cube, Dad. Thank you, by the way. Thank you very much. It's freaking awesome. Especially for trucks with no brakes. Don't worry, we'll be in safety every tire is blocked. But anyway, we've done the measuring. It should fit between the frame horns. There's exactly 20 inches between both mounts at the bottom of the V. Only problem is, is these mounts have the Dick 4 on this side instead of this side. I'll show you. We've already came out here, figured this out, so I was gonna film. See, Dick 4. What's Dick 4? I don't know, maybe we need to go to school and find out. Anyway. That leaks, that's why there's no brakes. That's going away. That regulator's going away. The ballast might stay just because it works. I replaced it, as you can see, it's just dangling there. It's probably safer that way anyway. Um, got to put an adapter U-joint on it. That's a Spicer 60 U-joint. We're going to need a Spicer 60 to 70 adapter joint. I'll have to go in and get the part number. I've already done this kind of shit before. Not that big a freaking deal. Not rocket science. It's fun though. I enjoy every minute. Just like I enjoyed spending all day ripping this fucking broken heart out. Why did it take all day, you ask? It's just a small block. Well, Mopar here decided to design the bell housing. I don't know if you can see in there. To where it has to slide up. Does it look like you can slide the bell housing up? to go over the freaking flywheel in this damn truck? No. To answer my own question, no, it, 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 you, you cannot. It's impossible, which means the cab was not on the truck when this motor was installed. Damn assembly lines. Tell you what, get it right. Anyway. I have these stupid mounts right here on the fucking bell housing, which is iron, by the way heavier than fuck, I'm sure. We'll find out soon. But there's a rat's nest inside, so we had to pull the damn thing anyway. That and the freeze plug is blowing back here. So yeah, there was no choice. It had to come out. Why not 440? But this stupid mount here, that thing's way too long, so we had to pull these bolts and pull the whole mount out with it, all together in one piece. So the thing had to literally slide forward, so you might as well just roll the truck backward and hope for the best. Notice no radiator or anything to get in the way. Hope for the best. So that's what we're dealing with. Uh, all measurements are done. The bell housing is a little taller, but that's because it has a torque converter, you know, and all that. And it's rounded. That one has a flat spot. Inspection cover. This inspection cover goes, you know, below the low and shit. Should be easier to work on, honestly. Even with this damn cross member in there, it should be easier to work on. Other than the tranny pan, I didn't think about that. I might have to cut that damn cross member out and make it removable. We'll look into that when we're installing the transmission. Uh, we'll be doing the motor first, like a normal car, and then we'll be stabbing the transmission from underneath, and if there's any problems, I'll address them then. But otherwise, it should be a pretty cakewalk project. I'm probably... I don't know, I might send that torque converter out to have it flushed if it doesn't have a drain plug and checked out by the shop. If not, then we might just replace it just because this thing is going to be hauling some weight. 
But anyway, that is the update on the truck, guys. That is what is going on today. And I will keep you up to date with what I am doing when it is done. Ooh. Look at that. Not even in the fucking truck yet, and I'm already adding fucking shiny shit to it. What a dick. Can't even help it. <laughs> Uh, no, nah, seriously, it's gonna get a whole bunch of shiny shit before it goes in the truck. Uh, oil leak. Uh, we're doing the pan gasket. Rear main. You know, probably do a timing chain too. We'll address that when we get to it. I mean, we could do that in the rig. Look at all that fucking room, seriously. I mean, and that big deal. It probably has a radiator or anything in it yet, so. Or I could do it right here. It doesn't matter. But I think it'd be a lot easier to do it in the rig bolted down so I can turn the motor over, don't you? It's kind of an elephant. I mean, look how big that thing is, dude. I shouldn't measure it head to head. I'm gonna do that. That's the end of a freaking awesome day, let me tell you. That wore me the fuck out. But it was worth it. I had fun. I enjoyed it. Look at this, guys. It's all the way over here, magically. With no come along, you see it's over there. I needed a bar, and I kept setting the motor down and jacking it back up. That's the trick. We will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. This is where weed whackers come to die.